And we're live. Welcome to Sprint 15's uh, Sprint Review. Uh, we're very excited. We had a lot going on this week, so we should just get to it. Oh, and this, this one is called a side dressing, which I'll let Ivy and Tam explain because they always do all this magical work to get ready for these, for, to name these things. I don't know where they come up with these things. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the big thing that I've that I've been working on this sprint has been, of course, ending the crypto technocracy. Uh, we are doing something really different uh, with the common stack, and we're trying to make it so that economies can be built from the bottom up, so that we don't need a technocracy to tell us how economic economies are structured. Every economy that's ever been designed up until this point in human history has been designed from the top down. There is a small group of people that decide how the economy is going to be run. And then, uh, you know, they generally impose it on the rest of everybody else. In crypto, at least you can opt in to the technocracy. But in the TEC, it's truly bottom up. Anyone can propose parameters. Anyone can propose the mission vision values. And, uh, and of course, if you want to stay on the economic monarchy, it's totally cool. And it's the norm. It's the norm. Honestly, it's probably a safer bet. But if you want to be cool, you want to have your economy, your choice, you should really join us in this process that's going on right now. Uh, we had the first runoff. Uh, well, we had the first parameters. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll come back to this. So we had the first parameter set uh, that anyone pro could propose. And we have, uh, these were the results. So Vepti, Zepti params v3, one, and then the eight, which is kind of a mean parameter set, got second place. Easy Like a Sunday Morning got third, Crystal Ball got fourth, and Goldilocks got fifth, and then another Goldilocks got sixth. And what's interesting here, though, is that when we actually analyzed the data, uh, there was a lot of votes being split between several Goldilocks proposals. Uh, and you can see, like, this Goldilocks proposal and this Goldilocks proposal actually had more votes than even Easy Like a Sunday Morning. And, and so uh, we ended up choosing kind of like deciphering the data and finding out that we should include Goldilocks v4 as the in the top four runoff. And so that's what we're voting on right now. We changed the names to protect the innocent uh, and just make them a little more anonymous and uh, not make it about who proposed them or anything, but make it about uh, what the actual parameter sets are. So you can come in here to token log and vote and be part of the first uh, economy that was ever designed from the bottom up. Uh, and participate in that. We actually go over all the lessons, uh, like how we came to those decisions about uh, choosing the which top four and what uh, also, you know, interesting thoughts, like how do we even want to go about this process? Should we make it political or should it be apolitical? Uh, how do we, how do, you know, do we include memes? Is this a meme friendly, uh, you know, experience or should we try to keep it boring and really focus on, on the results? And of course, uh, we ended up going with political because we can't avoid it. And this has been so political. It's really interesting. You really want to come to some of these param parties and, uh, and debates because you can see like people are actually like talking about these things, like these parameters, just like political ideas and, and they're debating them and it's really fun. So uh, if you have a chance, uh, definitely come to any of these param parties that are happening, these debates. Uh, we have a lot of them. There's a few today, uh, right now, and then we have uh, on Saturday and Sunday, we have a few, Monday, Tuesday, and more will come. So there's a great forum post that kind of goes through uh, the different parameter sets and compares them against each other. Uh, and this is how do, how do the hatch param proposals stack up. Uh, thank you, Mitch, for putting this all together. Uh, and it really kind of, uh, a, it's a great, uh, we're going to make this into a blog post as well. And both of them will be great resources for educating yourself on which parameters set to choose. Uh, and in other news, uh, besides just like, you know, changing the whole economic monarchy thing, we also had the first, uh, the last uh, like practice demo that where we were testing the rage quit uh, procedure and uh, making sure that everything is working well. So you can go to hatch-demo.netlify.app and you can actually still participate in the hatch. So uh, now we're testing the refund actually. So this one just ended uh, and, and we're actually just testing to make sure the refund works. <laughs> so you can see some other live demos, but we're done. We're done with all the, all the testing 
And now it's time to actually uh, uh, just do one more dress rehearsal once we find the, the parameters, the final parameters that you get to choose. And uh, so that's what's been going on on my side. And with that, I'll pass it to Tam and Ivy and Z. Cool, thanks. Awesome. So um, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that Ivy was the brain behind our, uh, our, our name this sprint. So we've done 15 sprints. Ah, I can't believe it. Okay, it's so many sprints we've done together so far. It's excellent. Um, and we've been using these agricultural themes. So we had a fine tilth, sowing the seeds of trust, a commons sprout, a catch crop, and now we have side dressing. If anyone knows what side dressing is, you won. But what it is, is uh, a way of fertilizing plants individually. So you lovingly circle nutrients around each plant to ensure that that plant uh, can produce to its full potential. So thank you, Ivy, for everything that you do and especially coming up with that cool name. Um, so I think I'm going to share a little sneak preview of the... Uh, Oh, this is embarrassing. I forgot how to share on Zoom. <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. Uh, I'm going to share a little sneak preview of the um, diagrams that we've been working on to explain that hatch phases process this and the TC. So if you remember, this is um, the older version. Then there was some sort of brainstorming of what, what a new version can look like. And this is um, what we've ended up with, different iterations of the phasing, and then the final um, annotated in this version, um, uh, uh, TEC live, what it'll actually look like and how people will be able to enter and exit and what conviction voting and disputable voting uh, will, will uh, flow will look like. Uh, these are almost almost ready. There's just a, a few minor details that we have to um, add uh, or change and then we'll be st we'll start distributing them next week. So that's very cool. One thing that's really important to mention, talking about the hatch. So we are here in this process. We're here right now. Uh, we're voting. The next stop is funding. Um, during that step, it's important that everyone knows that your impact hours that you have earned um, will be um, redeemable if you've activated your trusted seed membership, the people who can participate in the hatch. So make sure you activate your trusted seed membership uh, or you will lose those impact hours. You won't be able to, uh, to re uh, redeem them. And then um, other things to say, CS Love, I think I'm gonna say this for the next few sprint reviews. If you have activated your trusted seed membership, you have been airdropped a CS Love that you can use to buy swag in our swag shop. Uh, there's a bunch of emails that we've sent out that haven't been opened. So Dan and Ivy is lovingly going and reaching out to all of these people to, to let them know how to redeem their swag. If you have any questions, definitely, um, well, you could ask me or Ivy or Dan or any of us. And that's it. And I also, of course, want to introduce Zargum, who's been very present with us this sprint, actually. And Jeff will talk more about that later, too. Uh, and I will pass to Chris. Awesome. So my update this, uh, this sprint is pretty short and sweet. Um, my focus this sprint has been mostly on uh, external comms, sent out a few newsletters, some burn uh, warnings, um, that kind of thing. The other thing that is coming up imminently, and we will also have a, um, some external communications coming to your email, hopefully today, uh, is that we have an upcoming AMA, uh, community AMA, AMA uh, in our Discord channel our Discord server on May 26th at 11 a.m. EST or 5 p.m. CET. So drop by. We're going to be chatting, uh, like Tam was talking about, we're going to be chatting a lot about the hatch. Uh, if you have questions about it, uh, if you have any concerns or anything that you're unsure about, drop by. Uh, I'll be hosting it. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll dig into any questions you might have about the hatch. Um, other than that, I've mostly been handling uh, boring stuff behind the, behind the scenes, a lot of website edits and different things like that. So I won't bore you with the details of that. Uh, but if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, done or improved on the communications front, feel free to drop us uh, drop us a line on Discord, let us know, uh, or, or join us, uh, become a contributor. Let us know that you're wanting to uh, get involved with the communications branch and uh, we'll get you get you going on things. So just reach out if there's something you wanna see, let's get it done. And uh, with that, I'll pass to Jess. 
Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I've been chatting to quite a lot of people who are interested in contributing. So we're getting a little more organized and we have so much work and opportunity for projects. So I uh, look forward to hearing from you as well. So uh, one big thing has been the search for a distribution lead and social media managers. So we are getting very close to hiring a new team member. So that's really exciting. And then the other thing that uh, we are working on at the moment is some governance education uh, workshops for the MetaGov and NEAR protocol governance challenge hackathon, which is on. And I'll share the links below, um, hackathon ongoing. So we're gonna talk about some of our learnings and experience around designing uh, the decision decision space, first voting space, and some of the composable tools and mechanisms as a first blueprint for open networked uh, governance for Web3 communities. So should be uh, a great time. So we'll be advertising that on our channels as it comes closer once we get a date um, in the next couple of weeks. And then Livia cannot be with us today, but in spirit as she is taking part in the Token Engineering Academy's Ecosystem Value Flows course. So on her behalf, I'm just going to say um, I know she's been working um, stealth mode on an Ostrom's Principles article. So if you've been keeping up, you know a big focus is the cultural build, and we draw inspiration from uh, Ostrom's Principles in looking at um, governance and cultural frameworks for uh, DAOs and commons. So she's working on this article that's going to be outlining the three mental models um, and then looking at Ostrom's eight principles and talking about how some of uh, that is being implemented in the first uh, deployment of the common stack pattern, which is the token engineering commons. So look out for that in the next uh, couple of weeks. And with that, I will pass to Jeff. Nice. All right. Uh, I will be giving the update for myself and also Dan here, who is also at the Ecosystem Value Flows course. Um, so whoops, let me share my screen. Let's see here. Okay. So we have a pretty exciting event uh, coming up this weekend. It's called uh, Complexity Weekend. Um, this is a group of uh, global complexity um, enthusiasts, uh, data scientists, mathematicians, all sorts of uh, uh, very interesting folk, and we are going to be presenting um, a discussion on computer-aided governance uh, with uh, Dr. Zargam and myself, um, looking at a bunch of computer-aided governance um, examples covering uh, Gitcoin and OneHive um, and the Common Stack and the TEC and other, other uh, projects that are kind of examining the um, experimentation between human decision-making and uh, data-driven processing, often using uh, CAD-CAD. Um, and um, similarly, al along the same topic, um, diving into this past uh, sprint, we dove into some of the um, praise system uh, distribution analysis using some statistical uh, methods and kind of uh, following this um, idea of Wittgenstein's ruler. So this is a, a concept proposed by uh, Taleb, where basically, you know, when we're coming up with algorithms to uh, measure sort of our, our human goals, we need to first measure the measurement tool to make sure that it's measuring the things that we want it to measure. Um, so yeah, really interesting uh, conversations and, and data analysis that's going on uh, in the hatch system. So yeah, in the, in the praise system, sorry. So really interesting stuff uh, and very eager to dive into, yeah, some more discussion of how we can leverage the best of human intuition uh, and also you know, data-driven analysis uh, to make good decisions uh, in these kinds of democratic digital communities that we're building. And a quick update from Dan's side as well. Uh, we have uh, oh, a massive uptick in people activating their uh, trusted C, uh, their C stack membership, which is fantastic. We had 52 applications in May and 150 total so far, which is amazing. Um, and just to remind you again, as Tam mentioned, the burn is coming up soon. Uh, so make sure you go and activate your membership at member.commonstack.foundation. Uh, you can find links on our on our Twitter all over the place. Um, the burn is coming uh, sometime soon in the next week or so. Um, so we really encourage you to go in and, uh, and activate your membership on the membership app um, because otherwise your C stack will be burned. 
uh, don't worry, we still keep track of it offline. So when you do activate your uh, CStack token holdings will be, uh, will be reinstated, but that is not the case for impact hours. So make sure, please, 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 if you are participating in the TEC and want to claim your impact hours, make sure you activate uh, your membership as soon as possible uh, and join this happy community of trusted seed members that uh, is growing every day. Thanks for the update, Dan. I'll pass it back to Griff. Yeah, that was great, man. So much going on this week. And I think this might be our fastest one ever, but of course I want to make sure to just praise the contributors who couldn't be here. Obviously Dan and Livia for taking the deep dive into the ecosystem value flows and all their amazing work on all, all, all the stuff that they're doing this week. Also major praise to Wes for building token log, which is making you know participatory economics possible. Praise Nathan for his quick impromptu case study on the runoff and how uh, how we came to the decision of the top four and really documenting that uh, transparently for the community. Also major praise to Mitch, Nathan, Juan, Vitor, Katie uh, for working so hard on the forum post that, uh, that I showed off on uh, for comparing the proposals against each other. And also praise to Craig and Edu for taking on the impact hour investigation to find out which one of you haven't activated so we don't let you uh, actually uh, burn your impact hours. And uh, praise Joe Z for all the work on that amazing uh, infographic. Uh, Ivy for airdropping CS Love, coming up with the great names and all the things that she does for us all the time, setting up everything for us. Uh, MetaGov team for inviting us to the Open Web Challenge. Octopus, YGG, and Sam for diving into the impact hour analysis. And of course, Christopher, Amin, Merlin, and the whole crew around the Swiss membership app getting it ready for the burn. And uh, also praise to you for watching our uh, sprint recap and hopefully.